Okay. And action. And action. We're in the in the down low. We're in the down low. We're in the Slash. fourth dimension. Bro, this is that the download test tube talk crossover episode. <coughs> That's that that crossover. We already bro. had that yeah. though. Yeah, but we're gonna well, have we're many gonna more have to that. come. So yeah. many more to this come. This right bro. here, this is the the download studios. We're in a very secret, secret, secret location right now. This is my boy Andrew. Twenty four, twenty seven West. Park. We're in the same <laughs> location that Bob Lazar spoke of. Just kidding. Who is Bob Lazar? He's the dude who talked about being in uh, Area Fifty One. Um, yeah, you know who Bob Lazar is. Oh look, I heard the name, but no. I'll address the elephant in the room. Alyssa is very, very tall right now. <laughs> I grew like three feet. Since We're last limited evening. chairs today. <laughs> Taking up my basketball career soon. Hey, well, but we in this bitch though. We in the studio, bro. In I'll the fuck studio, with bro. the virus. This shit is oh, yeah. live as fuck. I really this appreciate is it, man. Your, your first podcast doing? First <laughs> podcast back, bro. And there's going to be what? many more to but, come. But it's have an you, honor. You <laughs> haven't done a podcast here yet? Mm-mm. No. First one in the studio. So you got this bitch set up, and you ain't even done a podcast in here yet. We're breaking the cherry right now, bud. Popping the cherry right now. Yeah, because I know you, you've been here, I mean, co- uh, a couple months now, or a month now? About a month, month and a half. Like yeah. Months. I know your girl was saying that this was the first thing you set up in the house. I got to be honest with you, man. I had to get my mind right, you feel me? I've been, I be getting into these slopes sometimes, but I just got to push through them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I mean... I just yeah. That's me on. too lately, and I think it's like I don't want to blame it on the pandemic, but like everything that's gone on throughout the pandemic, I'm just kind of like down and out sometimes more than what I usually am. It's part of being an adult, man. Stress is real, you yeah. know, especially when when pressure is on you and shit. Yeah, and I but feel like as an adult too, like, well, not even just as an adult, but anyone going through like a mental health stage, they don't want to talk about it or they can't talk about it because exactly. then you just feel like you're complaining to your friends or like you're bothering them. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. Especially a lot of dudes have like a lot of pride too. They don't like to talk about yeah, shit like that either. Like that's true. And with men, it's completely different because y'all act different. Y'all weird. Yeah. Fucking well, weird. I mean, so I mean, In guess we'll, like, we'll get yeah. right into it then, Andrew. Yeah. What, then what's what's been up, bro? The download has been really, really download lately. It's about to be. So it's test too. <laughs> Nah, we've been shit. We've been we've been cracking them out. Y'all have been week. cracking them out, man. We we I'm just we just hit our our, our fifty epi- uh, fiftieth episode. I know. Woo! I've been I've been yeah. real proud of y'all, man. I'm oh, thank you, sure, bro. Thank you. Fiftieth episode just hit. Uh, actually, I think we just dropped the fiftieth first episode, and then we just Three. came up on yeah, it just came up on a little over uh, one thousand subscribers now. Nice. So yeah, it's just running yeah, up. Yeah. Just cracking it out, bro. Like that's really what the thing is. The, the consistency, bro. That's what it is consistency that's the main key about it bro but but now that you that's what i studio. wanted to ask. yeah that's what i want to ask bro so like now you got your studio you got everything set up bro what's what's holding you back from okay. setting it up what was the last episode you left off because me we were we were going at it at at the at the very beginning we were on, like on the same episodes number one yeah. right <laughs> around about um I don't know, man. I'm, but I'm hopping back on now. Life you know happens, you bro. What do you mean? Happens, you don't know? Man. You want to get into it? Come on. Get nah, into I'll be. In, I'll get into it. All right. So a lot of people know, and a lot of people don't know. I got like this bipolar depression shit, and like, uh-huh. I got like this manic states. And when I'm in my manic states, it's like I'm happy go lucky, and I'm like going a million miles per hour, or natural high, and I'm like fucking wanting to do podcasts all the time. But sometimes I'll get in like this depression state, and it'd be like for two months, three months, and I'll just be in a fucking slope where I don't want to talk really, and I want to do shit, and I'll just be fucking dead. And it's like even. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Sometimes it's like hard to get the fuck out of bed. And it's like, uh, I don't know, man. It's just so it's like when you're high, you're high, and when you're low, you're low. Yeah, pretty much, man. It's nah. just fucking. It's I hard mean, to I, get I, out of that slump. I go through that too. I'm probably not as serious as you because I don't know what your, you know, status is. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you what your know, status like your is with the status state right is. now. <laughs> I'm not crazy or nothing. I just. <laughs> Not yeah, like that, yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know, like, once a month, no. you never know, bro, with your friends. They could be, like, ready to kill themselves, and they'll just be, like, regular around you because you never know. Real, so, like, you real. never know how, like, what anyone's going through. I'm not saying you want to kill yourself. I'm just saying there are situations that, that get that serious. Man, and, like, that's, like, check up on your friends, for real. For real, like, that's, like, uh, the baby's brother committed suicide. Yeah, I was just suicide. about to say that, yep. He committed suicide, the, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking, and it's fucked that up, man. Because he even said in one of his songs, he was like, "Some shit like my brother, my brother, uh, 
So my brother think uh, we don't love him. Think um, talk about like he said something like my brother think we don't love him because he's stressing or some shit. He's like, you think I wouldn't give up everything to see you happy? Oh so, yeah, he yeah uh, no. Now you no, said that. That track remember. wasn't like he straight up. That verse was about his. What brother. song is that? Do you remember? I don't remember exactly what song. No, you said I don't remember. He said some shit like that. That was this before is tough, it bro. happened. And bro, yeah, this was a couple months ago when he wrote that song. His brother made a rant video before he did it though. Didn't he? <laughs> he had know, said man. something in the video. Y'all didn't see that. That sucks, man. Cause I really like the baby man. He's he's a fucking. Yeah, you've been a fan of him. You've yeah, been talking about him. Yeah, he's a stand up dude, bro. For real, he's stand up ass dude. Like. Yeah. I've seen he just recently posted like man like not too long after all news broke out on his instagram you know to kind of like get at to get at his fans and tell him like hey you know what's going on and shit like that he's like yeah tell him check on his people i'm like bro that's just gotta be so fucking tough everybody weighing in you got so many people following you got millions of fucking followers so many people saying shit that they have no like they have no idea nobody yeah. knows what the fuck is, how the, what the situation people are is ruthless i mean we don't get as much comments as all these famous people, but like we've had no, our we fair get, share of. We yeah, we can get shit. You no, know. we. I mean, yeah, but we even. Yeah, people even, are ruthless, especially on the internet. Ruthless. It doesn't Real matter shit. if you like just are going through it and you tell everybody that you're going through it, they're gonna fucking attack you for no fucking reason. Oh yeah, people. They, some people just like to see other people in pain just because they're in pain themselves. And like, yeah. And I, I feel like Most a lot people of people get off. Fun just yeah. Have a life. Yeah. Yeah. It's just straight troll. You know, they they yeah. think that shit's funny. You know. No, it's most definitely it, if they're out there commenting on the YouTube saying some like negative shit, they're most definitely not in a good place. Cause like, man, what the personally, fuck are you doing let me ask YouTube you videos, personally, honestly, bro. let me ask both of y'all. When's the last YouTube comment that you put? Like, can you do you remember? When's the last do comment you, that you made on YouTube? Yeah, do you do you even comment on YouTube? I think I have. Probably was like a year or two ago though. Some negative remember. shit, or was it uh, no, it was just like a whole bunch of positive vibe type shit on, on the thread. That's the only thing I've ever yeah. commented is positive vibe shit. It on was on a, yeah, I remember now. It was like on a Pink Floyd, I know Pink Floyd song, and it, oh, it was just okay. like older folks are like, No, this is music, and I was just like, Liking their comments. I was like, oh, This boy Steve was tripping. <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. he, he was three hits up acid. He just like, oh, I, I fucking feel this shit, shit bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, bro, but like. Fortunate. Oh, this right? Yeah. You just went out? Yeah. Showing that jewel, bro. The jewel. Hey, don't hate. <laughs> no, nah, but what I mean about that shit, though, bro, is, like, as far as, like, the commenting shit, though, like, when's the last time you actually went on YouTube, went out of your way? Even on a video that you don't fucking like, went out your way, man. I'm, I'm man, fuck this video. I don't fucking like this video. I'm down thumbs in. I'm down thumbing it, and I'm going to go down and comment, take my time out of my day, type out a fucking negative comment. The last time I did that was Friday from Rebecca Black. For real? Yeah. Why I, was, you I, was, Rebecca I was like 13 years old. Last Friday or? Oh, 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 I thought you were talking about last song. Friday. I was like, why are you still hating on Rebecca Black, nah, man? She nah, I was like 13. That's what I'm saying. That's how long ago it was, is when that song came out. <laughs> he said oh, last, yeah. time, last time I was hating on it was Rebecca Black Friday. <laughs> last Friday. <laughs> last Friday. <laughs> Fuck that girl. No. I keep an update, you know? <laughs> I no, got I got the link I got the URL bookmark so I go in there and just just go in get some hate comment <laughs> every, every fucking single Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, every Friday. But I go it's, up been, it's been out still, for like seven fuck years. You. <laughs> <laughs> but still, low key listening to this song. Damn. Hell yeah, I'm bumping it on my way to work. No, that was such a cringe. Like she got so much hate for that, bro. Where's Rebecca? She some, Black she got, guy now? She's actually a pretty decent musician now, bro, and she's got some good little fame. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but, no, oh, she she kind of redeemed bro. herself, she but. Real, she had did real. a video about like how I got famous, and then she did, you know, it was the Rebecca Friday, whatever. She did some videos with uh, David Dobrik and shit too. Lately. Yeah, she was like, she didn't even write that song, bro. I don't think. No, think she didn't. Somebody she, she like, paid label, like five thousand dollars. The label, yeah, the label or something. Her parents paid like five thousand dollars for the song and the music video. And it was Damn. Just that the cringiest thing ever. Yeah, her parents they thought, paid they for they the music was video. Be yes. Fire. Where, oh, where did you hear that from? She uh she, she made explained a video. it all. Yeah, she I made a video. Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah. No shit. She didn't That's write it or anything. She was like, "Yeah, that was a pretty hard time in my life." Wait. And I was like, "I fucking bet." Do y'all know what? <laughs> do y'all know what year that came out? That girl. Man, like 2009 maybe. Yeah, it was. 2010. Fuck. That so was like. Were we in middle school or what? I was 13. Yeah, I was She's the same age as me. Eighth grade. Yeah, I remember my teacher would play it every Friday. 
Oh, fuck your teacher. <laughs> oh, bro. I guarantee you, everybody, don't, no matter what school you went to, there was a teacher that played Friday every single song Absolutely. on Friday. If, if not that, there was a teacher that was a, a heavy fan of Lady Gaga. You ever had a teacher that was no. a fan of Lady Gaga? Where the fuck y'all Whoa. say? No? You're talking about that one. How'd it go? What, what, t- what song are y'all talking about? Friday. It's Friday. You are your Friday. copyright. You can get Gotta get, get down, down on Friday. Friday. Party. Everybody party. Yeah. <laughs> I hated hey. that shit. Hey. They really, they really played that shit on the radio, like just nonstop. Damn. That shit was crazy. Like that's why I was asking, like, what, what year did that come out? Because that was like one of the first. Would you, you sure say like they played it on the radio, G? Because I don't think yeah, I ever heard that shit on the radio. Yeah, they played on the radio. Yeah, they played on the radio. Yeah, yeah, even okay. bre- the breakfast, right, the I breakfast club had a, a remix. They would sing along to that shit. My oh, brother Lord. would sing that shit, bro. Yeah, just to piss me off. <laughs> For real. That was like right. one of the first, that like first right. viral videos. Like that's why like far of viral stars. That shit's crazy. So oh, on another note. What's that note? Man, I mean, that that Trump train is a blowing. Oh my and god. And all the motherfucking racists better really get on that motherfucker get and get the fuck out for real. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that Trump train is leaving the fucking station, bro. Did you yeah. see my Bye. post on well, Facebook? Was a- uh, there was like, there's gonna be a whole lot of country boys making videos in their trucks this weekend. Oh, a bunch of butt hurt ass <laughs> fucking rednecks. <laughs> that one was the funniest to me. Hell yeah. Nah, that's what's up. A hard, hard hey, turn into don't the Don't get pilot. that confused, because I don't like fucking Creepy Joe either. Oh, Sleepy Creepy Joe. Yeah, bro, listen, check this that. shit out, bro. All this shit is corrupt, bro. All no, this shit really is corrupt. We really don't have you to get me? political, you guys. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's a hard turn. We don't got to get political. I just political. wanted to. And I'm unedited. Hey, man, that shit just happened today, though. I kind of want to talk about a little bit. I mean, we can I talk am, about it, I man. That's a hard. I am surprised because I really did think that, you know, Trump was going to go for a I second too. term. I did, because too. Because he has I didn't so lie. much support. And yeah, I know, he does have a I lot know of Biden, following. I know Biden had a lot of support, but I don't know. I've just... Everyone that I fucking Trump only had support in the country, in, like, redneck areas and shit, and, like, country areas, you know, and, like... All major and cities. And we're associated with that, so that's all we saw. Almost all major cities had fucking, you know, is like democratic and shit. So, hmm. well, Fuck them both. big cities are diverse though, and diverse areas are usually democratic. You did, know? did you vote? Did I vote? I'm a felon. I can't vote. Oh, you can't vote. Did you I can't guys vote like until the next Obama? election. I did like Obama. He, I, people are gonna probably dog people, on me for it, but yeah, people are gonna dog on me too. I don't give a fuck. I like Obama. I have mad respect for Obama for because he Obama. was highly educated. Yeah, yeah. and he was he, gonna vote for Obama he, just because it was gonna be history, like first black president. I bro, to be a part of and it, he so. set he was such so a good, good representation for that. He was such he was the perfect person. Check this for out, him. bro. He was so good at co- at keeping his his calm too, and like mm-hmm. always being respectful no matter the situation. People were dogging him, and he was always just right back respectful. As yeah. As and never. educated too. He had never, facts. never, never ran a slander campaign or anything like that. Like One of the most articulate presidents like yes. we ever had. He was yes. very educated. Yes. He's very educated. And the way he was able to speak to the people and for real. He and was he a, had a he like really good speaker. He, he had this. He had this like attitude about him that. Look, check it out. Everything's cool. I got he this shit handled. Very well. Yeah. He carried himself very well. And With Trump, all that shit's just out in the. Out on front street, we just, you know, we like you know how you see that. like everything is just Trump with this with this uh bill or Trump with he has this fucking thing going on. And he just, just but with shit Obama all the time, with bro. Obama it was more like supposed to be leading by example. We kind of I had like kind of like a hand like mo- I feel like most people had this feeling with Obama. They just like had a, like a hands off approach as far as like the politics with Obama. They were like ah oh, he's he's got it covered right you know what I mean. But like when Donald Trump is like all this shit's in the news every single day, you but almost feel like involved, it. and you know what I mean? Yeah, he you feel was. Like it, social media plays a big part because he was exploiting like everything that he wanted to do. Yeah, but when we so ha- he got the people hyped up, and then you know goes from there. All you gotta do is hype the people up, and it's over with. No, nah, he knew what he's doing. Yeah. No, nah, Donald Trump definitely knew what he was doing, bro. Like mm-hmm. he's a smart man. You feel me? But. I don't know. I I don't have either opinion for like. On, I think oh, I right, think he right. fucking put his foot a, in his mouth way too many times in the last four years, and it turned some of his own followers against him. And now it fucked him in the long run. But Did I will see? say, can now I say this? Out. Can I say this? You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Mr. Trump, for the stimulus check. 
Okay. Yo, hey, okay. We honestly, get, no matter who was president, we would have gotten one. Like it wasn't Trump that gave it to really? us. Really? It was. It's you think so? Senate and all that shit. Like Congress and Senate gave it to us, not Trump. Like, do you, just are he put we his getting fucking name on it? it? Doesn't mean anything. Okay, look, well, let's, just, the let's get into these important <laughs> topics. <laughs> that, that's, that's already our money. Like, yeah. We pay taxes. For yeah, you motherfucker, right? That's our money. <laughs> okay, well then let, this leads us into an important topic. Are we going to get another stimulus package? Nah, we ain't getting this shit. Biden says we're getting two thousand. Biden but says we're getting two thousand. I don't 2, know, man. That's what he's Biden saying. Wants us to pay it back. Income tax. Income tax. So ah, we, I knew I it. it. I knew it. I, I knew they it. would make us pay that shit back. I said on the first one that I they were going to make us pay that shit back. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not taking it. Y'all can have it. I'm going to set it aside. If well, we ain't got to pay the 1200 back. Why can't they do that shit again, bro? All these other countries were giving out so much money. They were giving out 1200 like every two weeks. Because our country, country don't really give a fuck about us, bro. What country I don't know. He got the laptop. You got the, you got the phone. Enough, you can take that two grand and you can flip it. So <laughs> flip it. Exactly. Buy. I don't. Yeah. I don't know any other. Crack. <laughs> my, little, my, crack. Little, my little cousin uh, stayed up all night and he bought two Travis Scott shoes and he sold them for like two hundred bucks extra each. Bro, that's that. She. That's he, what I'm saying, bro. That's just smart, bro. It. And like the way the way I look at it, bro, is <coughs> all this COVID shit is going on, but that shit is still going like. As far as like the shoe drops, the yo, yeah, exactly. The money, where's the money coming from, bro? People are still yeah. working. People, are, this shit is still in rotation. That ain't gonna stop people from buying what they want. Nah, that nah, that's for sure, bro. But like, I, I agree with like you know the, those type of uh, those Travis Scott shoes, bro. Like that, using that shit as an investment, bro. Paying two hundred dollars at the drop. The only, the only thing, only problem with that is, is it's at random. You only get shoes. Yeah. You go in a lobby and get shoes at random. But if you can do that, do that shit. You know this shit about shoes. Shit, get you know, get a size ten for me too. Feel me? <laughs> get a size ten for me. That hose will go two hundred dollars, bro. Two hundred dollars. They'll be like two hundred dollars at drop, and then a week later they'll be twelve hundred dollars. This shit makes no fucking uh, sense, bro. The old shit that we used to be rocking, the Nike SBs, them hoes are hot right now, bro. Hey, yeah, the SBs are fire as fuck, bro. I'll get some. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> dope. For real, though. For real, though. For real, though. That's dope. What the about Janowski's the high dunks? Sick too. The high dunks are fire, bro. Janowski, Janowski's, bro, they still making the Janowski's? Because, yeah. man, that shit was my shit back in the day. My skating days, I was skating on Janowski's for yeah, show. Yeah, they still making them. The shit show, bro. Hell yeah. So, Andrew. What's up, bro? What's the fucking download, bro? What's the download on the fucking download? I feel like I, I didn't even get my, like, I don't feel, like, satisfied with the answer you gave me as far as what's going First on with off, the download. First off, let me say this. We like, haven't even, like, hung out in a long time. I we, feel like... We used to hang out a lot. You guys used to always be over. We would always just, like, be tripping, and then we just kind of fell <laughs> off, and then we moved, and then now we're here. <laughs> well, y'all got to come over way more often. Oh, yeah. Y'all are... Y'all are I can come over anytime y'all want. Yeah, we're not very far, so. That's what I'm saying, for real. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, plus, it was fucked because I was working every single day, and because the mall, the mall hours were fucked because we were closing earlier and we were opening later, so I had to work like in the middle of the day every single day mm -hmm. to like make my hours, you know. So it's like I got off work and I'd want to go home and take a shower. By the time I got to the shower, it's fucking late. It's like every single fucking day, you know. Yeah. So that that fucks it also, you know. But now the the mall's back to regular hours and shit. We close at nine, so I'm like able to have like my actual fucking days back, you know. Where I'll mm -hmm. have like days off and shit. But you have time off after that, right? Between. Now I'll work. have some time off. But like before, I didn't really have days off and shit because the mall hours were fucked up. Like we were, we would open at eleven and we would close at seven. So like I would work every day from eleven to seven, pretty much. And like, fucking. <sighs> By the time I fucking get off and get home and take a shower and fucking get dressed, it's like Andrew, late. Andy, listen to me. But you got this, bro. I do now. I got you right. No, I do bro. now. One hundred. You got this, bro. Listen, if you really want, if you really want to make this shit pop, bro. The thing about it, like I was telling you about. Okay, I told you I was telling you that was right before we started this podcast. I found myself in a YouTube rabbit hole of uh, just people starting off podcasts. Like what I found a random ass podcast that had like 167 subscribers, and it was just like some friends, just kind of like how we started off, you know, our first podcast we ever had. So I clicked on it, and then I was like, "Oh, this is dope," you know. Like, I 
it, it's a shame that like YouTube doesn't recommend this shit to me more often. So I like I, I like comment on it. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like I just came across your podcast and I was like, let me make sure I like try to play with the algorithms. I, I commented like a couple of times. So, like I put a period, a couple of periods and just comment on that and liked it. And then I went to their page period poo. and then I went to another video and like that did the same thing. And then I went to suggest it on that. Got some more. Uh, you some more? Yeah, I got some more nice. just random mm-hmm. random podcasts. With, I was telling them the same shit, bro. And there's so many people starting podcasts right now. It's like such a... Nice. Uh, it's all different kind of people, bro. Like, For real. Yeah. Many uh, walks of life. <laughs> many walks of life, bro. Just like different ages, different races, bro. Like I was just clicking through this shit, and I was like, damn, this shit, this shit is dope as fuck, bro. You seen T.I.'s podcast? Yeah, he had uh, Alex Jones on there, man, and they were talking about uh, a Bohem- Yeah, they were talking about Bohemian Grove. That shit had me dying. What is that? Y'all, I've heard of it before, but like, what is it? Okay, so Bohemian Grove. I'm probably gonna slot at this, but it's like a property that this like the government owns, and it's fucking. It started. Mark Twain bought this property, and a bunch of other artists like back in the 1800s, and it's like a couple thousand acres, and it's like giant fucking redwoods, like. Like a national park, but it's owned by the government. Like, nobody's allowed on. No tourists. And all these fucking, like, millionaire elites go out there, and they have, like, these almost, like, satanic rituals in front of this giant owl where they burn this statue of a child and shit. And they, like, fucking scream, and they're, like, in these red robes and shit. Owl like that. That's a cat. That's a cat. (laughs) Boy. (laughs) So fucking Alex Jones infiltrated it back in the day and, like, videotaped a bunch of shit. you part of this shit? I'm not. Hell no. I'm not a millionaire. Hey, I want to hear this. Let me but hear. check this out. So, fucking Ti is talking to Alex Jones about the Bohemian Grove, right? Because Alex Jones have betrayed it and like videotaped all these fucking celebrities. He's like, he's talking about how these celebrities are having a feast, and he's like, now what are they feasting on? He's like, I don't know, fucking steaks or whatever. I didn't get that close enough, you know. I was just trying to fucking infiltrate and find out what the fuck they're doing. So he's he like, was there and he took video of it. Yes, he oh, just okay. a long he, time ago, what, like like in the nineties, huh? Or early two thousands, late nineties, something like that. Yeah. But he, like, Holy caught shit. a bunch of celebrities there, like, millionaires, all kinds of shit. It's like, yeah. and this shit's real. And, they, like, no girls are allowed, and they have, like, a railroad track. Like, no female celebrities? No. No. no, no. I the thought only, they have, like, Oprah and shit. No, there. the only women that are allowed are, like, prostitutes and shit. And they do, like, a lot of gay shit. And it's, like, they blackmail so each swear, other. Bro. I swear to God. It, the whole the whole point of it is, like, so these Hollywood, or, like, these millionaire elites can come out there and get, like, dirt on each other. And it's, like, a brotherhood. So it's, like, I have dirt on you. You have dirt on me. So you can't snitch each other out. We can do dirty I shit together. I have dirt on you. You have so dirt like, on you me. Able to turn we it just down? sucked each other's wee wee. No, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's, like, it's straight up, like, suck my dick, bro, so I know you're not going to fuck me over. <laughs> straight the fuck up. That's the type of shit they do. Like, there's a video. Can you of, deny, like, like, not go there, though? Can you, like, I mean, you can, yeah, you can not go there, I guess. But Nick, there's a video of Nixon, I think it's during the Watergate thing, like, and he's he's talking about it. He's like, I've been to Bohemian Grove a couple times, and it's the most goddamn faggiest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And it's just like, what the, what the fuck, for real? And I was the oh, president. Oh, who said that? Yeah, Nixon. Well, oh, Nixon, yeah, Nixon, straight up, while he was president. That, you hear that shit on Joe Rogan, huh? Or no, Alex, Alex Jones said that shit. Uh, on I forgot yeah, where I heard it. Huh? Joe Rogan or Infowars or something. Alex Jones was talking about it. Yeah, Alex sure. Jones for sure was definitely talking yeah. about that shit. That's just crazy now that Joe Rogan's in, in Austin, bro. Yeah, I know. And Alex Jones is gonna be on a shit way more He's now. Like I hope so, bro. I, was I hope so too. He was supposed to be on the fucking election episode. Well, hey, Joe, if you're seeing this <laughs> shit ever, what the fuck, dude? Why, hey? You yeah, kind of were being mean a little bit. I know he kind of said I kind of like pushed himself onto your podcast, but that's your friend, bro. And, he, Joe, and I still that's love the you. person to have. On election night on your podcast I tuned in when it was live And I didn't see Alex Jones on there And I'm not even gonna lie to you bro I turned it off I was like bro He straight up didn't have Alex Jones on the podcast Cool Joe Listen but Joe But Joe you're my boy I love you Joe Bad love Listen Cause I know you're listening to this shit Joe Most definitely Joe Rogan is probably definitely listening to this shit Chilling in his Maybe one day mansion. Maybe one day No he's probably listening We're only to this like an hour and a half away from him <laughs> Deadass Listen, no, if but we, if we get on his podcast, he's gonna have to do his research anyways. Someone is for real. Anyways, what's though. up, Joe? How how you doing, man? Nah, what's up, young <laughs> Jamie? So young did Jamie. Uh, young Jamie got coronavirus? I know it, <laughs> and he beat it in like a couple days. Oh, he beat it. Beat it in a couple days. To Jamie. I got coronavirus. Great. No, I just thought I had. I, had, I thought <laughs> optimistic. <laughs> After we just been hitting all on the blunt, just passing that bitch hey, around. Hey, we hey, can guys. quarantine together though. That'd be cool. What's up? We'll quarantine uh, right in this podcast. We'll live stream sick, it right huh? now. We'll y'all make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll con- quarantine right now. in my crib, bro. And just I mean, it wouldn't be 
it would be sick. Uh, it would be sick. But, literally. <laughs> but it wouldn't be sick. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> it could be cool if we had enough food and everything. <laughs> and weed. <laughs> and weed, right? Okay, have know. all the necessities. Man. But we but also would be fine for our lives, so. So, Andrew, what's up? What's the what's the plan uh, going forward with the uh, down low? As far as right now, this is the first podcast in. Okay, Are we so in the, it right the, now? Yes, this is the what's first up? one back. Hey. The, the plan going forward is to bust out as many as possible. Bust out, and bust just out, keep bust on with it. And hey, y'all, get on my ass about it if y'all can, if you see me slacking. The next helps. time you see him in Walmart, slap him. Be like, hey, man. Well, what you keep, be, bro? Keep bro, popping them podcasts podcast. out. You <laughs> got Bro, you got you got the to way do. to move forward is to go backwards. Boy, get the <laughs> bro. Fuck no, out I feel like y'all both <laughs> y'all both just high as fuck, bro. This y'all is, quoting uh, fucking Ready Player One over here. Yeah, I'm quoting the movie. Nah, bro, y'all both just high. That as was fuck, a good bro. ass movie. You seen it? Yeah, we watched it in the fucking movie cool. theater too. That shit. I was seen that whole movies. I seen that whole in the theaters too. Yeah, yeah made me cry, that shit was good. It's We're on the brinks of that right there. For real. That's what I was telling him last night. And that's only uh, the movie only takes place twenty five years from now. They already have virtual happen. reality. Yeah, that shit can be real for real. I mean, what do you think happens Bro. from right now? Like from right now. My little cousins have something like that. Like they did us have an online apartment that they paid for in a fucking like VR and shit. Y'all need to watch the black box on Amazon. It's about um that type shit. It's crazy. Yeah, it's all, all different. It's like kind of like a Twilight Zone type show, huh? No, it's a movie. And um, so basically, oh, I'm thinking Black Mirror. I'm tripping. Oh yeah, Black Mirror is dope too. Shout out Black Mirror. But um, just watch the movie. It's I good. know, but on some real shit though, like on some real Black Mirror shit that's really just happening right now. And er- now that everybody's quarantined and at we home, are the new season. Everybody's window through the world is through their computer, and with YouTube's algorithm, Google's algorithm, it's all catered towards them. Everybody's seeing it different perspective of reality nobody's living the same type of reality see see you feel me reality is reality is like but you know like but like do you understand what i'm saying let me let me let me like we're all living on little reality check this though bro every everything is what 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 the fuck is reality though because reality to a human is completely different to reality to a fly because a fly has fucking eight eyes. You're not going to tell me a fly sees the world the same way a human sees the world. No, you know what I'm saying? There's insects that straight up can't even, like, comprehend that you're there. Bats don't see life. See, the, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting so into. Like what's, but, what, but, is, what really is reality? Who says that the way we see shit is really how the that, world is? But that's exactly what, you know I'm, what I'm saying. That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting into, like. With life the with the algorithm, so like with the algorithm. Boy, the quit acting thing. like you spit knowledge. Where are you getting <laughs> this knowledge from? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, That's all I'm getting out of this. <laughs> what this the boy fuck? Steve, like, bro, I'm finna clip this bitch and put it on my Instagram. <laughs> he's, like, he's gonna put comment. He's up for the caption: Gems, gems, dropping hella gems. No, gems, G Y M S. Free game. Free game. A whole lot of free game. No, but say like, so what I'm saying is, uh, with that though, like. The algorithms are kind of choosing our realities, and they're kind of like, what? What if the AI is is waking up right now? They're awake right now, and they're deciding now. Now that they've woken up, they're starting to put each other, like us together, into like little groups and little habitats. You mean you AI know, within the algorithm? Notice that, like on Insta- on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, those type of algorithms. Because mm-hmm. have y'all noticed lately that if anything you post on Instagram, Facebook. Only ten percent of your followers are gonna see this shit. You notice that? Yeah, on my yeah. Facebook. I mean, that's I only from that. your perspective. On my Facebook, I have no. That's true, though. On my that Facebook, I only have like really two, three hundred friends. I can, I can only see like uh, ten, twenty people's shit on. on Ain't that Facebook. some bullshit though? Yeah, and Is I was really thinking why. I was like, I, I went onto like random people's um, Facebooks, and it said that I wasn't following them. That I was friends with them, but I wasn't following them. And I was like, what the fuck? That's kind of weird. But you were following them at one point. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No, see, like, I noticed on, like, on Instagram, like, see, like, I'll scroll through some people that I've been following, but when I, I reload the page, it will, sh- it will show me a post from, like, a day ago. Yeah. It's been doing that shit a lot And I'm like, lately. what, I'm like, what the fuck? So I'll go on their page and I'll look through their posts and there's, like, a bunch of posts that I haven't seen. So I'll go through and like them and I'll keep, like, liking as many posts as I can until they, it's gone to, like, the, 
I don't know, 10, 12 I posts. Think... And then Instagram will start promoting that shit back to me. So, like, when they do drop a post, it will show up on, like, when they when they drop it. But, like, with, let's say, like, that, with, with that shit, like, that, that shit happened to me. Actually, man, just, this shit happened, like, three, man, Bro, four days ago. To... The beginning of this week. No, like, check this shit out. The beginning of this week. R.I.P. Sauce Pack. I had seen. I we've been following him. We were supposed to get some work in. We were supposed to get like a, a interview and shit with him. And I, I noticed his page, so I clicked on it and I'm liking. You know, I'm liking all the pages and shit like that. And then it shit popped up again, and he had popped something up like again. He was playing, saying he's coming back into Houston and shit like that. And I, I had talked to his management before. I was like, oh shit, let me, you know, see what I uh, we're gonna link in for another interview. I know we're in between studios right now. That's a whole nother discussion. But, bro, that shit right there, bro, that shit was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I'm following all these people, bro, and I know other people are probably doing the same shit, bro. Why Why is it Instagram? Why Has it always been like that, that they're fucking suppressing, like, the followers? Because, like, there's some people that want that want to see their content, you feel me? Okay, but have you taken into perspective that there are millions of people in the world and there are millions and but billions... But I'm not following a million people. Listen to me. Listen to me. There are billions of people in the world that are using these social media platforms. The algorithm has got to be overwhelmed because everybody <clears throat> got on it as soon as the pandemic hit. Everybody started posting or... You know, what you mean? Obvious, oh, what you mean? Overwhelmed though, because they could. Because the first thing, like, le- they could just not have an algorithm in the first place. Have, they could just have it first you. post. Remember when Instagram started? As soon as you posted, you seen the timeline, and it was all just like on a on a time like. Uh, You're talking when Instagram they, first started. Yeah, whenever whenever they whenever they posted it, so it's like if you posted like eight minutes ago, your shit would pop up at the first of the timeline. But they've yeah. progressed since then. Yeah, but I'm saying like. You're you're arguing that like you got there's, there's they have to they have to have so like they have so many people popular peop- to most recent posts. Um, what was that? There's like a setting up on top of the right. It says uh, most uh, recent to uh, most popular posts or something like that. Is that for real setting? You can change yeah. it. Yeah. Look that shit up right now. I might be tripping, but check. I can you change it? About Put on that. Instagram. But my argument is like you're saying that it's messed up right now. I think that it's probably overwhelmed because. During the pandemic, everyone has gotten on social media and just like been on their phones all day, been on, you know. Overwhelmed. See, but my argument is if they didn't have the algorithm in the first place, the algorithm would not be overwhelmed. They, okay, they have. Quote, unquote, overwhelmed. Okay, so since they first started, they they had to have had an algorithm because they expected a certain amount of people to join the app and you know, to for them no, to be successful. But it wasn't listen, listen, just okay, listen to me. Listen, okay. Listening. So now I got my headphones since on. Since then <laughs> I don't I don't really know when, you know, Instagram started. I don't know the f- exact year or whatever. I know it's been some years since it's eighteen forty two. Shut the fuck up. No, I Instagram started what? like in two 2010. Yeah, 2010. 2010. 2010, bro. We didn't have shit in two thousand ten. Well, what the hell now. happened in eighteen forty two then? But 1842 bitch you wasn't even Columbus <laughs> sailed the ocean sea yo fuck Christopher Columbus fuck Christopher Columbus <laughs> oh fucking rapist oh. pillager motherfucker but no I, no I want to no I want to use it so uh, I'm saying that they had an algorithm in place because they had no, to no but I'm saying that they didn't though at first they didn't as soon, as soon as you posted it it was on top of the page there was no algorithms in place I'm not educated on that, so I don't know if they did or not. But I they didn't even have ads. I on for, think like, that when they first had yeah, to bro, have. The ads had have really to. been pissing me off on everything lately. Like I go to you, watch a YouTube video and they slip four fucking ads into the video. Like yeah, that's how you're getting paid. That's how we're getting fuck? paid. Shit, I'll put twenty ads in my video if I could. <laughs> Give me some money. <laughs> I'm just, like a music video. No, or something, you know, you watch a music video and no, they no, put no, three ads on a music video. It's like, oh, and they yeah, do like two ads back to back. It's like. What the fuck yeah, is going on? Yeah, and that shit's on? like fucking almost a so Like if minute. I wanted ads, bro, I'd just watch fucking TV. Same thing with Hulu. Hulu is over fucking run with ads. You can on pay Insta- for no ads. Hey, so but that's on, fucked. On Instagram and That's and how they <coughs> fucking know, keep they, going. Yeah, they got to make money. Come yeah. on, man. It's a business, They're already bro. making already their money by fucking You're literally what do you already mean? paying them. You are, I but know, still. but they have tiers to it. You could pay for like limited ads, or you could pay for no ads. That's everything these days. I feel like Netflix is going to start doing that shit. That's a smart business plan, right there. That's Google. Netflix yeah. you used to be able to get like one uh, DVD a month, and then it went up to three DVDs a month. But you had to pay more money for three DVDs a month, and now you can just stream that shit on every TV. 
But you still have to pay for like one TV or two TVs or three TVs at a time. You had Netflix when it was just on DVDs? And you get Hell yeah, me and my mama ordered that shit. And for real? When my we dad didn't, did they, when we didn't return them, they would send that. They Remember they like, on a uh, like... My dad did too, anyway. Mm-hmm. They would advertise that a lot on uh, MTV. You I guys think. remember back in the old days whenever, like, you would get DVDs from, like, a uh, red box or something, and then you would copy them, and, like, hell yeah. yeah. Hey. And then CDs, too. You burn CDs. That, sh- that was the Quick fucking Quick hustle days. right here. We used to take the red box DVDs and peel the sticker off and put it on, like, a fucked up ass DVD and put it back yeah. in there. Damn. But then you can, but you can, burn, you can burn the DVDs and shit. Yeah, like you, can, yeah. you can copy them. Yeah, My aunt did that. Yeah, you copy. Because every yeah, time I wanted copy, a new yeah. movie, she would copy that shit and send me the copy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we're incriminating ourselves, so like, <laughs> what's, what's the worst? I love it here, pirating and shit. What's the worst <laughs> crimes y'all have done before? <laughs> oh fuck, cut that out. <laughs> and like, um, what's some what's some crimes that y'all have not been caught yet for? Like, what? I stole a lot from when in my younger <laughs> days. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> in Bro, my like middle school days years. hey they can't get me on this now but in my middle school days or like high school days yeah i stole a lot from like the palais royals and bells who did it? were you stealing Walmart, fucking chapstick who did makeup it? earrings clothes not really clothes i've never but done anything bad yeah <laughs> okay mr wisdom mr <laughs> wisdom <laughs> saying the most cliche Boy, hallmark cards <laughs> You should have worn a mask. I'm not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> He's innocent. Mm. Bro. The moon rock? But y'all can't even fucking say that you haven't stolen from Walmart. Oh, yeah. Everybody did when they were kids. Okay. Everybody. I got arrested from Walmart. That's all just there twice. On camera, you got yeah. arrested? Twice from Walmart. What do you mean? Damn, I never got arrested. You got, got arrested, arrested from Walmart? Walmart? One time, Burlington Coat Factory. One time was for stealing literally two M&Ms. I'm not even talking about like a pack of M&Ms. Two Literal M and M's. Well, they were just fed up you, with wait, you at that point. Wait, 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 I don't wait. even know these fucking. Hold on, I gotta hear this story because what the fuck is going on right now? You're just gonna steal two M and M's. Check this. Steal okay, this so me, oh, hungry, me, yeah. my brother, and Jamie, my brother Brandon and Jamie, we're walking through Walmart and I look over and there's a bag of M and M's just ripped open, peanut M and M's. It's like a big bag. They're already open. They're already yeah. open. And bro. I grabbed two of them. Coronavirus. What if they lick, uh, licked each one of them? And they I don't give up. This is obviously like, pre-COVID. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Yeah, this I was a kid. COVID. I was this a kid. Is, I was like 15. B- this is BC 16. before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I was like 16. Yeah, something like that. 1800 BC. So like, I see this fucking, I see these M&Ms and I'm like, fuck it. And I take two and I eat them. And I just keep walking to the store and I buy my shit and I'm walking out. And as I'm walking out, this motherfucker grabs me and he's like, come in here with me. And he like grabs me. It was a trap. Me and Jamie, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, man, what the fuck you want? And he's like, come in here with me, you stole shit. And I'm like, I steal shit. He opens the door and I see the bag of M and M's there. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I'll buy those right now, bro. He was like, no, that's the principal. I already called the police. <laughs> I was like, what the, what the fuck? fuck, bro? Oh my god. Steve just said I would so, have shit to do that day. That hey, <laughs> so the cop, the cop came in and the cop looks at the dude who's like, who calls, who called him, and he looks down the bag of M and M's and he's like. Did you really fucking call me here for this? For real. And he was like, yeah. And fucking cop was like, well, I don't want to fucking take you in. He's like, well, it's the law. You have to, blah, blah, blah. He was like, well, fuck. Because you know, if the fucking yeah. store says they want to press pressure charges, they have to. Yeah. You know? So fucking they took me to the police station and yeah, shit. Yeah, you actually but I got that shit dropped. like you know so much. I got that shit dropped like a couple days later, but still it was fucked. Wow. How you get dude. it dropped? You're just saying you thought it was like a. Did you tell him like I thought it was a, a trial or something? I just went to court and I just straight told him what's happening. So I thought happened. this was Sam's Club. <laughs> I was like, this is fucking. That reminds me. I, I was like, a, it's fucking bag of M&M's. I, saw, I thought this was Sam's Club and this was on the samples. They just made me see. Made, made me go see my old probation officer and like talk to him for like 20 minutes. And at the end, he was like, "Well, my mom was with me." He was like, "Well, do you mind if I drug test your son?" And my mom was like, "Uh, yeah, I do mind." He was like, "For real?" She's like, "Yeah, I know what my son's doing. You don't. You don't need to know." Yeah. She's like, he's not on probation anymore. And yeah, you're bitch. just here to talk to him for a couple minutes. Right? <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah. yeah like, that was right, when cool. you was in high school? Yeah, I was like in high school. Your mom's your mom's always been that cool about you. Like, my mom was a savage. My mom was wild. Savage. I remember. Savage. So like when I was ha- so like when I was hanging out with you, bro, like you and Alex, I remember. Alex was so against like smoking, bro. He was, Alex was against skinny jeans, bro. <laughs> Alex was against skinny jeans. He was talking about <laughs> like, we were gay and shit like that. I'm like, bro. I like, no, they're dope, bro. They're cool, bro. And I then mean, he got into high school and he fucking fell in love with them. Yeah, bro. And, and, and Damn, like, y'all you know, pick on him? 
No, this is my brother. Brother. his other brother, bro. No, yeah, but why didn't y'all pick on him? Because he was hating on skinny jeans, and then he started wearing them. <laughs> I mean, no, he's just he's just hating. He's just, you know, he's, he's like just talking. Kid. He's just talking he shit. Found the way. This is like middle school. He, he liked them the whole time. <laughs> he's talking shit. He yo. used to also talk shit about rap music. He used to always tell me, "You can't spell crap without rap." Oh yeah, he really <laughs> does, and now he's like so heavy like, to like trippy really red. Really he liked it the whole time. He was just like never shout never and shit. That's all he fucks with now is like hip, like rap now and shit. Fucking. Uh, I'm telling you, he probably liked it the whole time. He likes Kyle. He was just trying no, to see if y'all liked it. He was trying to hate on it so to see if y'all liked it. Hey, because because like I was, bro, like and see Lee, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll put this shit on my mama. I was the Maybe first one rocking undorned. rocking skinnies <laughs> out here in Sealy, because they was making fun of me, bro. They was looking at me weird and shit like that. But, but some of the girls line. was low key just whispering. I, yeah, I came from Baton Rouge. Okay, I was a, I I, I, you know, I came from Baton Rouge and uh, shit. I was very heavy into skating and shit like that. I hopped on the skinny jean uh, wave and rocking skinny. They're they're more comfortable. They fit me great. You feel me? You know, it makes makes my figure look great. And then I came, t- bro. Bad choice to really kind of like actually express myself as far as clothing wise when I came to Sealy. It's like this is my first time I actually kind of. Like my, I mean, my mom, you know, she kind of had some influence on me. She was like, oh, I wish you would like, wear this. Like, you know, Air Apostle, Abercrombie, some shit like that, you know. I was like, do this shit, and you buy that for me. But, yeah. like, I actually dressed myself. I was like, Vans, skinny jeans, big T-shirt, you feel me? Like, City I was boy that shit. And I'm just town. like, and but not even, though, man. I'm just coming from Baton Rouge. Like, it's city, but it's, like, not that city, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a, uh, I was just heavy on the skating, and then, like, the like the dude there was talking shit like yeah, look at this, this shit, the same kind of happened to me that, when I went a, from Austin. They're like, oh, god damn, is that one of them gays right there? And shit like that. <laughs> but then it probably yeah. the, the but the girls is over there is low key just whispering like, hey, y'all seen that new kid? Uh, he so fine cute, as yeah. hell. <laughs> That's how. No, straight, straight up though, yeah. S- straight up. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> straight up, Bill. For real, bro. The same thing kind of happened to me when I went to Austin and then I came back to the country. They were like, what the fuck are you wearing? And then they ended up wearing the same shit. Because the they same Tyler on. shirt that I wear at least once a week. Ain't nothing wrong with that? Yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all got it. Those something. were in before all, y'all even fucking knew it. Hell yeah. Well, shit, y'all want to wrap this shit up and just fucking smoke up a, a <laughs> yeah. moon rock? Y'all got any fucking things you want to talk about? You want to like... This, this right here is a big episode for you. I know you're coming back. Hey, man, what, you one, thing I do when, one thing I was going to talk about earlier, but we got we got off topic for a minute. I was When we were talking about Travis Scott. Y'all seen his, uh, his Trav- the Cactus Jack Batman? <laughs> Batman? <laughs> he was, oh, when uh, he dressed up as Batman and everyone called him a roach. And he fucking deleted his Instagram account because of it. Yeah. Do you feel I like, feel bad do you feel like he him. felt like a type of wave? I, th- I feel like he did what Lil Uzi did. Lil Uzi did that and then he dropped two albums. Oh, uh, do you feel he like probably, he's doing it for yeah, attention? He yeah. did it. For the headlines, a lot of, a lot of people clear their Instagram all the time, honestly. Yeah. Like, a lot of celebrities so, do that all so the time. So you don't, you don't think that he got his feelings hurt? Because like, well, that's, that's my first Maybe a little bit. He just bit. archived them because he brought back some of the exact same pictures, and I looked at them. He also knows the same he's day. Travis Scott. So with that Travis so, Scott yeah. situation, with that Travis Scott situation, that, that shit, He like, probably at first was like, man, y'all some hoes. But then everybody, like, no overwhelming amount of support came after that, you know? Like everybody stood up for him. Yeah, like, because y'all everybody was like, yeah. Him, you know? like, well, what was he? That shit look, that sh- I see what you did. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what I've been through. <laughs> no, with, with his situation, that was my first impression. Though I was like, man, this shit has got to be fr- to get headlines or some shit like that to get. Cause I mean, he made the blogs. Yeah. If people were just hating, maybe I mean, they, they, they people with the people, brown fucking Lamborghini with it. That shit was sick. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think he really got his feelings hurt? Cause I'm, I don't think he really got his feelings hurt. Probably but not I mean, bad. He, no. he, he might have made the blogs or might have made the headlines without. He might have just made, been like, what's, what's, awesome that, hoes. what's that one guy? Like his whole, uh, his whole team collapsed the a stage or whatever. He posted, Wave. he posted like the same oh, day. Right, he right. was like, man, who's a bitch? Who's a bitch now or whatever? He, he had like a stack of money on him. <laughs> He was like, man, I ain't tripping over this shit. That boy, people, Rod well, dude, uh, it's, it's not a, that's not even, Rod Wade. It wasn't Rod even Wade. him. It wasn't Whoa. even him that broke the stage, really. At a time, I'm fucking yelling in my fucking ear. Y'all seen that video? 
There's a video of Broadway <laughs> walking across the stage with a bunch of people. The and like stage the was malfunction, though. It wasn't even him. There was like 30 people right behind yeah. him, and they all yeah. stepped on a platform at the same time, and it fucking yeah. And he didn't in. even fall or anything. He caught himself. Yeah, he was so. already off that platform when it broke. The other people broke that oh, shit. Okay, people are just, there. But people are just being anything. hosed, You bro. eat a french fry the wrong day, and they'll fucking attack you. Yeah, but yeah, it's out of his fucking control, the bro. That's the fucking internet. The internet's fucking stupid, Yeah, people are straight up hosed. That's one thing. Okay, if you're still listening to this podcast and you should get anything out of this fucking podcast, you should know that the internet's fucking stupid. We're fucking stupid. We're just a couple idiots with some microphones and some fucking Don't cameras. Don't fall for the fame. Don't fall for this bullshit. Amen. Amen. I'm baby. And Hallelujah. also drink water. Hallelujah. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Go check out Test Tube Talk. Yeah, and go check us out. tune in. We're going to be back in a couple days. Thank Bye. You guys a couple days. Peace. Peace. Y'all have a crazy story to tell you guys. Good game. Is that that plug must be the plug? The plug. Halfway unplugged. Jake, 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 Jake. Shout out to the Moon Rocks, bro. Thank you, baby. For real, this shit right here. <coughs> this shit right Moon here. Moon Rocks is some fresh shit. This shit almost got like a little coffee scent to it. <laughs>